Welcome to the walkthrough video of the Secunia Corporate Software Inspector, CSI 7, a vulnerability scanning and patch management solution. In this video, we will show you different features and the benefits of the Secunia CSI. Secunia is known for its world best vulnerability assessment, powered by its in house research team. CSI rides on top of the world's biggest vulnerability database to provide you with accurate, fast, and reliable vulnerability intelligence and remediation techniques. You can access the CSI via a web browser from anywhere. Let's walk through the different features of CSI one by one. In order to discover vulnerabilities, you need to scan the systems in your network. CSI offers different methods of scanning that can be used according to your network infrastructure and layout. There are two main methods of scan, remote scanning and agent-based scanning. Each method can be further divided into two sub-methods of scans. You can launch a remote scan via the CSI console, which uses standard Windows services. The Secunia CSI scans all EXE, DLL, and OCX files on the system to gather metadata, which includes the vendor's name, software name, and version number. It sends this information to Secunia to determine if the scanned software is insecure, end of life, or patched. You can create scan groups to scan an IP range, IP network, or IP addresses and host names. The Secunia CSI can also utilize software inventory collected by System Center Configuration Manager clients to report software vulnerabilities. You can connect the CSI to your local SCCM server to provide a list of all machines which have an SCCM client installed. The SCCM inventory is scanned by connecting directly to the local SCCM SQL server. You can schedule SCCM inventory imports by installing the Secunia daemon anywhere within your network. CSI offers two methods of agent-based scanning, single host mode and network appliance mode. We recommend installing the CSI agent in single host mode on machines which are connected to the Internet. Alternatively, you can use network appliance mode on machines which can't be connected to the Internet, such as in classified networks. The single host agent is installed as a local service on every host machine which can be scanned at regular intervals. You can install the agent on Microsoft Windows, Mac and Red Hat Linux operating systems. In network appliance mode, the agent is used to scan machines that are not directly connected to the Internet. Here you can create network appliance groups and scan them by using their IP addresses, network addresses and host names. Windows PCs and Android devices that are not managed by WSUS or SCCM servers can be managed by integrating the Secunia Personal Software Inspector PSI, with the Secunia CSI to remotely manage patching from the CSI console. The Secunia PSI results are hosted in the Secunia cloud and are fetched from there by the Secunia CSI console. On the basis of PSI scan results, you can manage the installation of patches from the CSI console. Vulnerability scanning and patching is not limited to computer devices anymore. Now you can scan Android devices by installing PSI for Android, available from the Google Play Store. In short, CSI provides flexibility to use any preferred method of scan that fits your requirements. Now you can view your scan results by the holistic approach of smart groups. Smart groups are further divided into host, program and advisory based groups. Each type has its own set of attributes which provides flexibility and customization in reporting results and alerts. You can scan all hosts according to their Active Directory layout. The results display the host name and the system score and the number of insecure, end-of-life and patched programs. You can also create custom host-based smart groups that fit your requirements. As an example, we have created a smart group which shows all hosts that have system scores of less than 80% that have been scanned within the last two weeks. This enables you to prioritize the patching of these machines. You can further customize the view by choosing only the system score, the last scan date, and the system platform only. 
Similarly, you can create program-based smart groups that have attributes associated with products. You can choose among many available criteria, including product status is insecure, criticality is at least highly critical, and SAID creation ID is within seven days. You can also create advisory smart groups and receive notifications when critical advisories affect your infrastructure. You can create an advisory smart group which shows all of the extremely critical advisories affecting your infrastructure. On the basis of previously created smart groups, you can receive notifications via email and SMS. CSI will alert you as soon as your smart group criteria meet or exceed the specified levels. You can extract PDF reports on the basis of site level, host level, and product level statistics. You can also extract the data from the CSI in CSV format via the database exports. You can schedule database exports using the Secunia daemon. The next step in vulnerability management is remediation. On the basis of the scan results, an update package will be offered. The CSI 7 offers configurable patches which not only update programs to the latest patch level, but also give you the options, amongst others, to disable auto-updates and remove desktop icons. CSI seamlessly integrates with your existing patch deployment solutions, such as WSUS and SCCM or Altiris. Once configured, CSI can easily push patches to a patch deployment solution using the Secunia package system, SPS. All insecure and end-of-life programs that have an update available are listed in the SPS view. As an example, let's choose Apple QuickTime. You can right-click and choose Create Update Package, Uninstall Package, or Custom Package. Let's choose Create Update Package. SPS will dynamically load customization parameters that are relevant to the update. For example, you can choose to remove the end user license agreement to avoid your users having to accept the license that has already been accepted at corporate level. To keep the user's desktop clean, you can also remove the desktop icon. If your user doesn't have local administration rights, you can disable automatic updates as they can update the program themselves anyway. It also helps you to keep version control on all the machines across the network. SPS also provides you with options to remove all prior versions and perform a clean installation. Select the Edit Package Content checkbox to display the second step of the wizard. Step 2 shows the execution flow and the patch file that will be included in the package. On the third step, the SPS displays applicability criteria on the basis of the path where the insecure program was found. You can also choose to target this update to a specific minimum version. Review the patch and click Next. On the fourth step, you can choose more applicability rules to target the patch according to operating system architecture and languages. Click Publish to push the package to your WSUS or SCCM server. Now you can approve the packages as they are published. Create a language package and retain that package configuration on the basis of product family. In order to fit the complex enterprise hierarchy, a new structure of user management is introduced in CSI 7. You can create users and provide modular access that fits their roles and job descriptions. For example, if a user is only responsible for scanning and reporting, you can restrict the user role to only have access to scanning, results, and reporting. You can also limit access to a segment of your network via Active Directory Path, IP addresses, and host names. A new feature in CSI 7 is Instant Access. As soon as a new advisory is issued that affects one of the products previously found on your network, CSI will mark those programs as insecure, even without scanning host machines. Select the Activate Instant Access checkbox 
To update your scan results as new vulnerability intelligence pertaining to your existing scan results emerges. You can enable Active Directory integration so that CSI shows scan results according to your domain layout. You can use Active Directory to limit a user to view and manage certain parts of your network. This was a short introduction to the new Secunia CSI 7. You can get a free access to the CSI 7 and test it at secunia.com/csi. Thank you for watching and stay secure.